Who's on the guest list for Harry and Meghan's wedding? An invitation to the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has to be one of the most coveted of the year, but so far, little has been revealed about who their 600 guests in Windsor will be. The May 19th wedding is a private, not state occasion, paid for by the royal family. This means political leaders don't have to be invited, so Harry and Meghan can pack St. George's Chapel with close friends and family. Many of the faces will be familiar including the UK royals, celebrities and actors, but others will be less well known, including Markle's family and people who've become friends with the couple through their charitable work. Here's CNN's best guess at who might be on the guest list. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip attend the 2017 Braemar Highland Gathering in Braemar, Scotland. The royal family will be among the most closely watched guests on the day. Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, will be accompanied by Prince Philip, who has recently undergone a hip operation. Also there will be Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Carnwall. The occasion may bring back some memories a wedding blessing was held for them at St. George's Chapel following their civil marriage ceremony in 2005. It's not yet known if Prince William will act as best man or role Harry fulfilled for his brother at his wedding in 2011. He and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, are expected to welcome a new addition to the family this month. Will their newborn be the youngest guest at the wedding? Their older children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte may well play a part as a cute page boy and flower girl for the couple. Harry's uncle, Prince Andrew, is sure to be there but a question mark hangs over his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, known as Fergie, who was not invited to Prince William's wedding. Their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenia who will herself marry fiancé Jack Brooks Bank and St. George's Chapel on October 12th are expected to attend. Charles, Earl Spencer, and Lady Sarah McCurquadale are greeted by Harry after the 10th anniversary memorial service for Diana in 2007. Relatives from his late mother Diana's side of the family are also likely to be present. They include his uncle, Earl Charles Spencer, and Diana's two sisters, Lady Sarah McCurquadale and Baroness Jane Fellows. Harry is not expected to invite European royals as William did in 2011 when he and Kate packed Westminster Abbey with some 1,900 guests. Prince Harry talks with Prince CEO of Lesotho at a fundraising polo match for their St. Paul charity in 2006 in Surrey, England, but one member of royalty who will almost certainly be there is Lesotho's Prince CEO. He and Harry founded the St. Paul charity together more than a decade ago to help some of the most vulnerable children in Lesotho and Botswana. Other friends of Harry's will also make up a chunk of the guest list. Among his and Prince William's closest companions are James Mead, Thomas Vance Traubenzi, Tom Inskip and Guy Pelly, a nightclub owner. Over the years they have been pictured carousing together in party spots in London and around the world. Harry may also invite comrades from his days in the military, including at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and in Afghanistan. One of those is singer James Blunt with whom Harry served in the British Army. British soul singer Joss Stone is a longtime friend and likely invitee. She is an ambassador for Harry's St. Paul charity and has taken part in benefit performances for it in the past, including a 2016 concert at Kensington Palace. Adding to the celebrity count, Harry could invite British model and actress Cara de Lavigne, who has reportedly been a good friend for years. Another St. Paul ambassador who may well have received an invitation is Argentine polo player Ignacio Nacho Figueroas. Figueroas, who is also an author and a global face of polo Ralph Lauren, has played in several St. Paul charity matches with Prince Harry around the world. Prince Harry may well invite two of his exes, Shulzy Davy, his on-off girlfriend of several years from 2004, and aristocratic actress and model Cressida Bonas his girlfriend from 2012 to 2014. Singer Ellie Goulding whom Harry was also at one time rumored to be dating has been named in the media as another possible invitee. Goulding performed at William and Kate's evening reception at Buckingham Palace, including the song for their first dance, she told Vanity Fair. It's possible that singer Sir Elton John will also make an appearance.
He was a friend of Diana and famously performed a rewritten version of his song Candle in the Wind at her funeral in 1997. He was invited to William and Kate's wedding 14 years later. Celebrity couple David and Victoria Beckham were also at William and Kate's wedding and could score an invitation to Harry and Meghan's big day too. Asked by James Corden on The Late Late Show if she was going, Victoria stumbled over an answer before saying, I don't know. Markle's family is less accustomed to the spotlight than her fiancé's. Her mother Doria Ragland, to whom Meghan has said she is very close, is expected to be at the ceremony, as is her father. Thomas Markle Azar, her parents met at a Hollywood studio in the late 1970s where he was working as a lighting director and she was a temp. They split when Meghan was young, but she told Vanity Fair last year that they remained on good terms as she grew up and even took vacations together as a family. Meghan included her mother in a list of 10 women who had changed her life for Glamour magazine last year, when she described Ragland as both a free spirit and an order. We can just have so much fun together. And yet, I'll still find so much solace in her support. That duality coexists the same way it would in a best friend, she wrote. The bride-to-be has a number of close friends who are very likely to have received one of the precious gilded invitations. One of those is Canadian stylist Jessica Maroney, a longtime friend of Michael who, according to Vanity Fair, is helping her to plan the big event and may also be chosen as her matron of honor. Markle's friend from her days studying at Northwestern University, Lindsay Roth, is another likely invitee, especially since Markle was her maid of honor, according to People magazine. Roth told the magazine last year, we were the kind of friends who can be 3,000 miles away and still be talking about her thinking the same thing, and even texting each other the same thing at the same time miles away. Another friend, Bahrainborn, London-raised fashion designer Mishananu, is rumored by UK and US media to have been the matchmaker who brought Harry and Meghan together on their first date. She and Markle have reportedly holidayed together in the past and Meghan wore a shirt from her collection on her first public appearance with Harry at the Invitus Games last year. Other media rumors point to Marcus Anderson, a consultant for the Soho House Group, which has private members clubs around the world as having made the all-important introduction between his good friend Meghan and Harry. Tennis superstar Serena Williams has been firm friends with Meghan for several years. Her personality just shines, Williams told Vanity Fair for a cover story on Markle last year, adding that the actress had asked her for advice on dealing with aspects of life in the spotlight. Of course, long before she met her parents, Meghan gained fame as an actress, playing ambitious paralegal Rachel Zane in the hit TV series Suits and she has good friends from the long-running show who may well be at the wedding. Among them is Patrick J. Adams, who plays her love interest Mike Ross on the show. After the engagement was announced last November, Adams posted a touching message on Instagram. Other friends and former co-stars who may share the big day include Abigail Spencer, Sarah Rafferty, Gina Torres, Amanda Schull and Gabriel matched. Asked why Harry was attracted to Markle, Spencer told Vanity Fair, she's got warm elegance, though her style is hard to pin down. It's classy and timeless. When you're talking to her, you feel like you're the only person on the planet, and it's just wonderful to see her so in love. Another likely invitee is actress Janina Gavankar, perhaps best known for her roles in True Blood or The Vampire Diaries. According to a post by Markle last year on her now-deleted Instagram account, they have been friends for over 15 years. Indian actress and UNICEF Goodwill ambassador Priyanka Chopra hasn't known Markle for as long but Instagram posts of the pair having fun together suggest she may make the guest list. UK media reports say British heiress and former maiden Chelsea star Millie McIntosh has also become a good friend of Markle's while she's been based in London. Markle also previously posted pictures on Instagram of her hanging out with French fashion designer Roland Murat. There's been speculation that he might be involved in designing her wedding dress, something that would surely earn him an invitation to the do. Of course, we now know some of those who won't be coming including US President Donald Trump. Burak and Michelle Obama and UK Prime Minister Theresa May, but there are sure to be some surprises in store when the guests arrive on the day.